This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Neymar. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Rafael Guerrero starts with João Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And this confrontation is underway. Might really be able to trouble them here. That's a foul. And... Well, you might say, taking everyone by surprise, he didn't miss by much. Well, talking about Brazil, really the ultimate World Cup team. And if you look at the group stage this time around, they have Switzerland and Serbia in their group, as they did in the last World Cup. How about their prospects on this occasion? Well, I would say this is a dangerous group for them. You mentioned those three teams. Of course, they should go through. But are they a great side or just a good one? Let's hope they're a great side. He could pick out a teammate. And they're trying to get right into his face. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Excellent defending. Neymar. Here's Marquinhos. Portugal have possession once more. And teammates around him. But they dealt with the threat posed. Alexandro. And Brazil in a position of menace. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, a smart stop. Keen to take it short here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Fernandes. Can they take advantage? Joao Cancelo. Will be comfortable in bringing that ball down. And nicely cut out and he favours the inside route and Bernardo Silva has it opportunity and putting his body on the line and a time for calm on the ball Vinicius Junior now Casemiro 
And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Casimiro. Neymar. Magnificent defending. Joao Cancelo. On the ball, Ruben Dias. Bruno Fernandes. Otavio. Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Fred. Is with Vinicius Junior. Well, they keep passing away. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough goal or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Well, let's find out if they can get out of their defensive posture here. And Bernardo Silva has it. Top class defending. And Brazil showing good width here. Neymar! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Short corner taken. Fred. Now with Danilo. Real chance. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Cristiano Ronaldo. Jota. Well, tremendous block. Will he finish? Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Well, the second half underway with Portugal behind. Can they turn this game on its head? Determined defending. Paqueta. Danilo. Can he find the angle? Ruben Neves. It's a promising move from Portugal. Bernardo Silva. It's with Joao Cancelo. Joao Cancelo. Ronaldo! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Favouring the short one. And Bernardo Silva has it. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. The Brazil haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Fred. On to Paqueta. Neymar! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. So underway again and a 2-0 advantage here. Bruno Fernandes. A creative look about this. He read the situation defensively and did his job.
Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And Neymar, a good and fair challenge. Bruno Fernandes, this might be ideal for the counter. Ronaldo, can he put it in? And they get the ball running again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. Casemiro. Here's Rafinha. Danilo. Chance to cross. Danilo. He must finish. Otavio. Now the Silva. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. And he cuts in from the wing. It's looking promising. Shot attempted. Oh, good save. Bernardo Silva. Doing well to keep possession. Fernandes body in the way Neymar and we've entered the final five minutes Pepe it's with Joao Cancelo it comes to nothing in the end Ronaldo now with Jota the taxing save Rafinha so two minutes of stoppage time here Vinicius Junior this is looking threatening Alexandro this looks more than decent Neymar Terrific block. And full time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Neymar, such a difficult man to pin down, as we saw in this game. Your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, I think the only thing you could question could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a great result.